Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Saka here, and welcome back to another episode of Crusader Kings 2. When we last left off, we took Gwened. We are waiting for this recently conquered penalty to go away. That's going to be in a few months. Just loading up the game here, we have a few alerts that we need to be aware of. The Vassal Levies raised too long, only negative ones, so those Vassal Levies have been stood down for some time. That should go away on its own. We can also righteously imprison our queen. Um, why would we do that? Well, it looks like there are a few known plots that our queen is running. Our queen wants to kill our kin's woman. In the grand scheme of things, I mean, she likes us. Her liege is actually our niece, so our niece's uh, daughter. So. You know, far enough away that I don't think we'll have to worry if uh, she was to meet an untimely demise. Um, failing to imprison her might not be good. We could try the cheeky route and get rid of our wife, but we already have a plot firing. Now this is the plot against Prince Aircake of Ireland. He wants, according to the threats, uh, he is a 28% threat to take... Um, Ireland, Prince Aircade for Ireland. Looking at the factions, he's at 58% strength with no one supporting him. So essentially he has a 58% um, army size of us. Looking at our military, we are grouping all of our um, army back together once Gwynedd stands up and we get this recently conquered penalty. And there is a levy reinforcement now. Okay, so this isn't the guy. Our kids sort of look alike here. Um, so he isn't the one that is plotting against us. Who is he? Our cousin died a natural death. Looks like we can grant another minor title. So he was a commander. Let's go ahead and get to getting another commander in here. How are you? You know, you're not bad. You're not a chicken either. All right. Rearid Bishop. <laughs> Bishop General, that is outstanding. Title loss on succession, so the County of Gwynedd is held by us, but because of our succession law, it will probably go to one of our um, kids. As long as it stays in the family, I am okay with that. When is this recently conquered going away? 24 September. So in a few months, the recently conquered will go away. I can get our marshal over here to train and boost that up. Oh, we actually have 27 galleys as a part of this as well. So we have 43 uh, ships that we can bring across and 114 from vassals. So if we did need to hop the channel, we could do such things as these. We're not really looking to do that quite yet as we are fabricating here on Glamorgan is our next target. Now, we just recently waged war on this guy. We should have a truce. He only has 2,000 max, though. Gwynedd was his sort of capital, and this was where most of his troops were coming from. So taking that for ourselves sort of tips that scale. Now, if we were to look at our truces, we have a truce with him for another nine years. The more I think about it, the more ridiculous it seems. A king having a rival is beneath me. Indeed, there is little point to this rivalry. It's not good to have a duke and a family member our rival. There is little point to have a rivalry. So Darme is now happy with us, indeed. Oh, betrothed can marry. So Princess Rio and Prince Kesmir. Um, he is the king of Croatia. Yep, send our sister off to get married. That will be fine. Goodbye, dear sister. Have fun over there in Croatia. So sending our, our sister across the world, that's fine. Alright, so does that do anything to the factions? So it gets rid of one of the factions that we had uh, because of our rivalry. If we were to get rid of this rivalry, well, we don't have a rivalry. He just, he's ambitious. Which, to have a family member that is ambitious, where are ya? Deceitful, craven, ambitious. That means that any title that he has, he really wants the highest one. I wish he would lose that trait because then he might not want our kingdom so bad. 
You may now have a precise count of the households down to how many cows. A wise initiative. We gain to stewardship. Outstanding. We were working on our stewardship here for our ambition. We will be collecting more tax money because of that, which is all good. We can also see that this um, consumption is now in our land. So we had the fever a little bit ago, and now we have another sickness ravaging island and northern Scotland here. Um, definitely the happiness of these provinces are going to go down. There's a good chance that people living in them might catch the disease and keel over. You know, I wonder, just wonder here. Let's see, Kellak, who is our guy who is really... All right, Aircade, where are you? The Duchy of Munster that is overwhelmed with consumption. Be a shame if you were to catch consumption and keel over. You know, his heir, Kellak, really, really likes us. So if he dies, uh, there is a good chance that there will be no revolt. There will be no um, factions against us. Everyone will be happy, which is our grand scheme of things. Only a 27% threat. We could try to send him a gift of 55 gold by 40 opinion. Just sort of uh, talk to him and say, you know what? You don't really want to do that, do you? We're, we're giving you some money. Um, but we are trying to kill him in the grand scheme of things. Speaking of which, uh, we can put our spy master here to help out. I feel confused. We gain 20 piety or prestige. Prestige is the way to go for the general opinion of the world. Where are you in hiding at, good sir? Somewhere in Thoman. So let's get our spy master there to build a spy network in Thoman. See if we can uh, sort of root him out here. All right, so 27 and 21 plot power for our mares. Let's actually send them a few gifts here and invite them to the plot. 70 gold, that's a big hit, but we will indeed um, invite them to the plot, see if we can get it to fire. Now, if he knows about this plot, he may ask these guys to stop with the plot, which will dec decrease our plot power, and then we won't be able to uh, to do that. Asturias de Oviedo. Asturias in Leon. Well, we are not pressing that claim. That is way, way out of our realm here. All right, so our truce is up until 1127. So our, our chancellor can work for the next uh, eight years trying to fabricate a claim. If we wanted to push north, this could be a time to do it as well. A troubadour and his wife, Troubadairs, has arrived from Akatane. Their performance is rage. So we can gain one intrigue, which would be pretty handy. We gain the trait charitable. So do we want three diplomacy, church opinion, and other charitable people to like us or gain that intrigue skill? This is a kind of tough decision. We're working on our stewardship. Once that's over, we'll work on our intrigue. So this can uh, get us one closer. Or this charitable trait can um, help with diplomacy. But you know what? We'll gain the one intrigue and let that ambition become easier for us to get. Um, we're still 31 years old, plenty of time to improve our stewardship up to eight, and then we can focus on that intrigue down there. If we were to move up north to, say, Galway, this guy owns the petty kingdom of Galway, and he does have a count under him as well. How many troops do you have, sir? 3,900 troops. Let's go to the army. We can hold a max of 4,400, and that is good news. It looks like this recently conquered um, penalty has kicked off. Let us train troops in Gwynedd and get that boost uh, to help these guys train up. I was the first one to sell my horse and chase after the bandits. He appreciated my effort, 15 piety, and that was because of our martial skill. Because we're, we're, we're warriors, we were the first to hop on that horse and go after it. We have 119 plot power on this guy. He is in hiding. We can tell that by his mask here. It's going to be tough to sort of root him out and get a plot fired on him because he sort of knows that we are after him. 
We can assassinate him. That's 350 gold, which we don't have. But we are making 8 gold a month now. Better than the 5 we were making earlier. So that stewardship skill is paying us 3 extra gold a month, which is great for us. Let's see. We I don't believe we have an alliance with Argyll. And it looks like he is allied to Scotland. So Scotland owns pretty much all of this land here, except for Galway, uh, Carrick, and the Isle of Man. It looks like our best bet is to continue on the Kingdom of Wales and push into Wales here. If England looks to be too tough of a target, and the King of Scotland hasn't sniped these uh, counties yet, we can push down in there. Who owns these? Donald the Drunkard. So Donald the Drunkard only has 1,800 troops, and that is the only plot of land he owns that may be pretty beneficial here before uh, Scotland snipes him up. But do I want to continue my conquest down here? I believe because our percentage of fabricating this claim is 19%. I will go ahead and get a claim on this province and hope that I live long enough to send this chancellor up north to the Drunkard's Isles up here and take these away from Scotland. Now we do have a plot of land here that is owned by the Duchy of Finnmark. So this, this ruler up here actually owns the very northern tip of Scotland, and if we wanted to become a complete king of Scotland, this would have to fall, meaning our war would then stretch over here. Not exactly ideal. I want to focus on the mainland while we can. Now, hopefully when Gwynedd stands up and they get their whole troop count um, of 1,400 troops, that'll be sort of enough to repel any uh, king or any movement by this guy, King Lilwyn the Noble. One child lacks a guardian, and he looks like he is going to be a diplomat. Let's go ahead and educate him in the ways of diplomacy. And Dub Gilla, the Chancellor of Ireland, looks to be good enough, and her opinion will increase by 10. So this is essentially a pawn we can use. If we wanted to improve the uh, opinion of the guy plotting against us, Darmate, no, Eric. So Eric likes us at 47. If we were to allow him to educate our child, that would be another 10 bonus and sort of deter him from attacking us. Although he, he looks to be in hiding. Yeah, he's in hiding, so I don't think he can educate our child. So what we'll do is we'll just educate him with a count our lowest uh, vassal here. We got some mares. You know what, Bressel the Earl? You're a good learner, not a good educator, but he'll like us by plus 10. So now, Bressel is at 37. Dub Gilla, the princess, our kinswoman. No, it's not appropriate. We'll gain that five piety. I'm not, I'm not all in that life. All right, so because of our martial skill, we can hold 40% more troops here, 1,400 troops at its peak, and we are gaining thanks to our martial there. It might not be bad to look at buildings we can build. They're pretty expensive, um, but if we were to increase our fort level, that would make this easier or tougher to siege down. The castle walls certainly wouldn't be bad. We would gain a 5% levy increase as well. But improved keeps needs to be at least four. So our technology is sort of holding us back. We can look at trade practices. We can look at construction for a lower build time. We really need these improved keeps, however. I think that would be um, the best thing to sort of save our uh, technology points up for. We're not gaining a whole lot. In fact, our economy is our lowest. If we were to research economy tech, So that, do, do, do. Yeah, we need economic technology. I believe that is our steward. Spread rate is good. If we can afford to drop 
Our monthly balance just a bit and not collect taxes in the capital, we can sort of boost our economy as far as that's concerned. As a matter of fact, let's look and see where the technology spread for improved keeps are. It looks pretty um, normal throughout Ireland, so it really doesn't matter where we put her. Let's research economy tech in the capital. See if we can get a boost. What's that going to do to our balance? Because that extra tax, 35% tax money, would be nice. But we only drop one gold a month, which isn't bad, especially if we can get those improved keeps. We can do a building, increase our levy size, and everything will be good. And a 50% reinforcement rate in Gwynedd. That is going to boost this reinforcement rate well. Pretty well indeed. Looks like the old King of Scotland in the de jure war over Clydesdale. So indeed, Scotland is moving on this little bit of land. It's a good thing we didn't move in on it because then we would be facing King Donald with his 4,000 troops. And that's pretty intimidating to, to cross that strait there and take that land. All right, so it looks like we are in a good place. The plot is still trying to fire. It's a 6% threat. And what is the faction at? Still 53%. We might be able to get away with letting this go. I mean, that's not a big threat. He's not going to fire. I think we might be able to do our damage elsewhere, but we did pay uh, some of these guys. If this drops below 100%, I'll just call off the plot. Maybe he'll come out of hiding, and then we'll be good to go. Let us... Next summer, let's see, Can we? when can we go on a grand hunt here? September. So we missed the grand hunt. We can hold a grand tournament, but we are not going to do that. That's all 200 gold. And quite frankly, I don't want to hold a tournament. Still waiting on our chancellor to fabricate here. We're waiting on our troop count to go up here. Then the taxes will go up and the reinforcement rate will go up in three years. But I believe with that boost and our marshal there, this may be full in three years anyway. Good to see that the uh, Basil levies are raising up as well. Who does run this city, I wonder? So he likes us enough. The Nettleson neighbor. So because of our diplomacy skill, since I sent his envoys back. So go me, we can gain 20 prestige or we can come up with a punishment. I think the prestige will do us well. The higher this is, um, the, the better everyone in the world will like us because we'll be a prestigious king. We'll sort of earn our keep. And oh, look at this now. So they are fighting back. Fighting back with a vengeance. The sides have been routed. If, you know what? The opportunist in me is like, well shoot, go for Scotland now. Get a claim on Argyll. They're in the middle of three wars. Go ahead and hop across that strait and start uh, plopping into Scotland. Which might not be a bad idea. We are still under a truce with that king for another six years. Maybe in six years time we can indeed get a claim. Let's go ahead and claim our gill. See if we can sort of put our foot down in Scottish lands. Now this count has 1,600 troops. The King of Scotland now has 3,300. Let's take a look at his realm tree. He himself can raise up 2,185 and then his vassals can provide even more. So his troops have definitely taken a beating and uh, during this war, this might be opportunistic. I'm going to... Uh, to watch that very closely. Now it's almost September, so we can go on our grand hunt for 25 gold, get some prestige, maybe get um, some bonuses here, say to our martial skill. We don't have any sins that it doesn't look like we are going to get rid of. So let's do it, let's go on our grand hunt for 25 gold. We will find the white stag. So 109, it dropped 2% on that plot power. We haven't seen any 
Ah, the white heart has been seen north of Leinster. I am told it is a heart of tin and the biggest deer. We can gain piety, which I don't want to do. Gain 20 prestige, or there is a 65% of nothing, 10% chance we gain 10, 10% we gain wounded, 5% chance we are maimed and gain 10 prestige. And Malkay, you know what? He's probably about to kick the bucket anyway. I'm going to go for it. This is my kill. Maybe we can bring back the white stag and get uh, even more prestige for, for bagging. A white heart has been seen north. No, this is my kill. I've been crippled for life. Oh, crap. We're maimed. So there goes two martial, two health. Attraction, same trait. So in going after the hunt, that doesn't look exactly uh, good. We, we sort of have a peg leg. That's going to affect our health the rest of our life. While well, chasing... An agile deer, the horse stumbled and broke its lane. So we gained 10 piety for ending the... Oh, we gained 10 prestige anyway. We're maimed. But, you know, that's the spoils of war. We're not holding a grand tournament. I'm waiting on this claim to come through. Once this claim comes through, we can sort of sneak in while this army is occupied, I think. Alright, just real quick, when is this truce over? 1127. Yeah, six years away from that truce. I think we're better off sort of trying to move into Scotland here. How are our vassals doing? Let's give them a check. All of our vassals like us. That's pretty awesome. How is our... Ooh, these guys might need some freshening up. Hey, hey Bishop, here's 24 gold. You like me a lot better than the Pope, don't you? Hey Bishop. 24 gold. You like me a lot, don't you? Hey, Bishop. You like me a whole lot better, don't you? Outstanding. So those temple vassals are definitely going to be in our pocket. I don't know why Stephanus X is such a bad guy, but our bishops really like us. Wow, there's only... Vo this guy's voting for himself. Of course he is. Three votes. Hello, who are you? To the heroic King Conmac, the French Revolt. Sorry, I do not collude with rebels. And I don't even think we're allied with France anymore, if I'm honest. No, we're not even allied with France. The King of Croatia. Hey, can we uh, form an alliance here? Oh, they'll accept. Awesome. So we'll get that. And the King of Croatia. You know, they can't help us, but it's nice that, you know, they think of us highly enough that we can do that. Croatia, Stuart of Ireland, the Countess of Dublin. What's wrong with you, girl? If I remember right, we tried to have her killed a long time ago. Only 30% plot power. Now our kinsman, yeah, this is our niece. We request you honor the obligation. Sure, we accept. Go for it. Who are you guys fighting? Oh, look at that. Croatia versus um, these guys here. Well, this should be a pretty one-sided victory. Look, if these guys want to hop on their boats, sail around it Italy, through the Mediterranean, through the Strait of Gibraltar, and come up to Ireland, be my guest. We'll be more than ready for you guys. I hope they don't count on me actually coming down there and doing something, because I'm not going to do it. Alright, so a new... A new ally. Our daughter is 10, so no children are about to age up. We're still holding on to the county of Gwynedd. And the levy is almost full. Outstanding. Where does that put us in the grand scheme of things? 4,100 troops that we can call on our own with another 3,600. Oh, yes. We will give him patronage. 25 prestige, a 15% chance we gain proud, which is a monthly um, prestige tick, which we got. We are now proud. Even more prestige and the chronicles of our family. Oh, look at that. We have a claim on the county of Argyll. We will use it, and in the next episode, it's going to look like the county of Argyll 
once this, once they're done with this war and all these troops get sort of uh, ravaged and destroyed, I think I'll make a move on Scotland. They look nice and weak and ready for the picking. But that's going to do it for me in this episode, ladies and gentlemen of Crusader Kings 2. Like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next episode where we make our move up here in, um, where are we? Argyll. Awesome. Take care.